What's something your ex did that still makes you look back and say WDF? He broke up with me Mother's Day weekend. A week to the day I had just moved into my new apartment in his neighborhood. My mama died in the last few years my only parent and he ended things in my new place on top of everything. Instead of actually bringing up ending the relationship, he emptied his pockets. Random stuff I had left at his place I guess. When I confronted him for the choice of execution and not waiting a few more days to spare me some hurt or even giving me some time to process so we could discuss the breakup he said, there's never a good timing for these things. Drove on a dark highway with his headlights off and wouldn't turn them back on while I was freaking out, intentionally tried to run out of gas, drove with wipers off in heavy rain to scare me, took me out on a gun range at night to shoot things point blank and the shrapnel would hit my legs. He was also in the infantry but was never deployed, and would glorify dying and killing like it was a video game. Thankfully he switched out of infantry right before we broke up. He didn't need to be infantry. Strangled me, drowned me, set up fake Facebook profiles pretending to be a girl to send me abuse, sexually assaulted me in my sleep. Used to tell me people we both knew had said terrible things about me. This was years ago. He's probably a good person now but the above has left a mark on me. I look back and feel sad that my late teens were filled with so much anxiety and sadness when they should have been my best years. I have a wonderful life now but feel like my innocence was stolen. He got up every morning when I did, put on his suit and took his briefcase to work. In reality he would hang out at a coffee shop or somewhere until I left for my job, then come back and play video games in the apartment all day. Then put on the suit in time to come home from his fake job every evening. He's a moron and thought my dog walker wouldn't ask me why she was coming to walk the dog when my boyfriend was home all day every day. We were in an amusement park and got into the kamikaze like pirate boat but spinning completely and I was happily screaming and having fun and out of nowhere I hear a weird scream. It was them screaming but like was saying things. I was like WDF. And when we got off I asked him WTF and he said he was screaming in Japanese and swearing and stuff and I was like and you couldn't just scream normal. Kazu the F does that. He boo dollar 3 d me then broke up with me called me boo dollar 4 3 when I was in a depressive episode it made me question my reality I had a psychotic break. I couldn't believe that I was just like this horrible person. He knew he had done that to me so he picked a time I was unstable to gaslight me into believing I had done that to him so that I would not report him, etc. I still can't believe someone would be this bad. Took me for a walk at 2 a.m. in Risky City then ran away and hid behind trees and watched me panic and having an anxiety attack for an hour. He was laughing at me the whole time. Called me weak and pussy for being scared. That was the last time I trusted him. He is an ex for a reason. Looking back, I cannot believe I dated him. What was I thinking? When I think about my time with him, I cannot believe the person I was. My ex got into an argument with one of his college professors. He got so mad that he decided to go to his professor's house and steal his boat. He took the boat to the lake and sunk it. I seriously thought he was lying until he admitted it to me and showed me where the boat was. He begged me to never tell anyone. After we broke up I had a friend call in a tip to the police to the location of the missing boat. He told me that he could kill me and dispose of my body without anyone ever finding out. He had steroid needles in the bathroom and I found them while cleaning his house. Then he screamed at me for invading his privacy and to never touch his things again. He's married now with kids. I hope his wife and kids are safe and that he changed. Seven months before my daughter turned 18, my ex-wife sued me for back child support but she got it based on our original agreement that was made in 06 when I miraculously made a stupid amount of money. So the amount I was hit with was $150,000 that would be paid to her over the course of the next 15 years. I drive without a seatbelt now. I had to travel a while to see him when my mom was in rehab. Went to his, then after we'd finished up he said right you can go now, I've got things to do. This was after last trains, there were no taxis about and I couldn't get home but he kicked me out after saying I could stay because he wanted to work and I was distracting. We were broke, like buying groceries on credit cards. She goes to the mall for something while I'm at work and gets suckered into buying 500 bucks worth of makeup. She doesn't even wear makeup it's not returnable. This was years ago and we're doing much better now, but I was speechless. He was adding girls on Snapchat because they were fiving. Then told me I shouldn't be upset about it because he was with me and we were moving in together in two weeks. He broke up with me two weeks later. He had been on dating sites before and messaged women. I couldn't trust that man. He picked up a bottle of half-consumed formula that had been sitting out all night and started to give it to our crying infant. 
I stopped him and said, you know that was sitting out all night? He said he's knew he figured if she drank it that meant she was hungry and would stop crying. He physically was 3D me and isolated me from my friends. And after we broke up he convinced some of my friends that I was lying and started hanging out with them. Shortly after that he called me and begged me to take him back and threatened to kill himself if I didn't. It was a mess, my dog ran away, and as I was panicking and trying to quickly get dressed to go look for him, my ex goes stop crying, or I'm leaving too. Yeah, he was a real catch. My dog was returned by a sweet couple that found him when they saw my missing posters. Telling me he would come to school the day after I made a suicide attempt and then not coming, causing me to attempt again because I felt completely and utterly alone. Also telling me my mental illness made him uncomfortable. How do you think I feel? He told me he loved me but needed to break up with me for now so that I could meet and date other people. Let's leave the door open for the future. Really considered guy eh? Too bad he said that after he asked me to move across the country for him. When we would fight she would schedule a lunch date with a male friend that I knew liked her. She'd do it because she wanted to make me freak out. At first I did. Then I started hooking up with her sorority sisters so it leveled itself out lol. Tried to set light to the caravan I was sleeping in because it realized I was in the abuse of one in our marriage and had asked for a divorce. Thankfully she thought Dizel would be an accelerant and my dog who hated her woke me up. Had a girlfriend in college that I dated for about 3 or 4 months. She got a speeding ticket on her way home from my place one day, so she calls me and says it's a sign from God we shouldn't be together. I didn't even try to salvage that. Deciding he'd make my life hell the few weeks left of our senior year because I didn't want to be friends. He also took the side of a lying narcissistic ex-friend who used everyone around her cause she was manipulative. No dinner out with any other women, not even in the group of co-workers. Then we had a daughter and, you guessed it, I'm banned to go out to eat with her the ridiculousness hit when she was 5 and McDonald's would be taboo. Vacuumed the apartment and emptied the hair she collected in the shower drain. Still to this day have no idea why she didn't just put it in the trash. Instantly clogged our shower and I teased her about it for months. He let his mom turn our night party where we invited friends and family, into his sister's baby shower. I broke up with him right before New Year's BC I'm not being with someone who can say no to his mom. Bang their head on the ground to the point of concussion. Try to exit a moving car. Walk off into a blizzard. Take hormone blockers and lie about it. Probably a few others I repressed or don't know about. He told me to stop offering him help when writing music then a few months after I left he put out an album using my throwaway guitar riff notebook with lyrics screaming about how much he hated me. Way after we broke up in high school, I think the next year, he went out with one of my friends, which I was fine with. It was the fact that, she told me, one day he attempted to rape her. She's a waitress and she started texting a guy who left her his number and then blamed it on me because a girl came on to me and I turned her down. I'd get with super gaslighting shit. In a parking lot he went into someone's unlocked car and got a person took money out of it I was shocked. We'd been together 6 years and I didn't even know this guy WTF. She had a one night stand with a co-worker. We managed to talk about it and that we want to work on the relationship in the same day she texts him how crazy she is about him. Punched to the face cause I told her her math was wrong. We were both on engineering degree courses so we weren't exactly the dumbest of people. She might have been though. Other people. He also peed in my bed on purpose every time I asked him to wash the sheets because they were waterproof. He told me this shortly before the breakup. Threatened to leave me as a joke which caused me to have a panic attack and throw up, and didn't even apologize when he saw how much he upset me. Cunt. He's never had a job since I left him. He's lazy AF. Doesn't pay child support, nada. Like how can you let your wife support you? I just don't get it. Lied about her brother F saying her whole family knew she lied about it to her partners. They never said anything lol. Bunch of fruitcakes in retrospect. Oh lord, I have an entire memoir's worth of things lol, so I'll spare y'all and stick with just the big one he, at 23, pursued me 16 at the time. Gave me an ultimatum to move in together or split up after 8 months. We stayed together another 10 years but I wish I'd split with her then. Would full on laugh uncontrollably in his sleep as if he'd heard the funniest joke ever. Not all the time but it was totally the weirdest. Broke up with me after I reminded him my birthday was yesterday and he forgot. He literally started dating someone else two weeks later. Loaded a gun and stuck it to my head. Also beat me up after I confronted him about cheating on me, amongst other things of the sort. Touch animal genitals mainly male dogs and get aroused. 
We volunteered at my uncle's clinic and I caught it on security cameras. Call me stupid when I wanted to go back to college to study to be a pharmacy assistant then move on to pharmacy technician. He told me he arrived to Earth on a UFO 5,000 years ago and had lived several different lives. He believed this to be true. My ex self-harmed and one time he asked me if I wanted to be there when he did it because he thought it would be intimate. Saying out loud that he thinks a contraceptive pill helps an abortion. No, not only helps but is also 100 effective. Put it in, in the wall with his forehead because I couldn't guess what fast food place he wanted for lunch. Claimed to be suicidal and needing of immediate help. Sent immediate help. Got mad that help was sent, man shrugging. When we first started dating. He brought his huge bag of dirty laundry to my house for me to do. WTF. She told me she was using an IUD, got pregnant and threatened to off herself unless I married her. WTF. For a while, she pretended every month that her period was late and that she thought she was pregnant. He tried to spit in my face and missed which caused me to laugh in his face and kick him out. Said I wasn't worth talking because we had different opinions. But we could still have sex. Cheated on me, secretly. Despite knowing that I find it hot to share her with another man. He had to be buzzed in order to have serious conversations with me we were living together. Her brother slapped her ass in a way I thought was rather weird. They laughed. Tried to contact me through my school email since I blocked him on everything. Get me stoned and then pretend to break up with me as a joke. Zany face. He would call me his Nubian queen and tried to kiss my feet. She stabbed me in the shoulder with a fork then apologized. Told me he was into watching horses do the deed with girls.